this is January Sparks and this is February Sparks. You can probably tell by the hot tinted lip oil. Yes, please. Okay, powdery rose scent that I like. It's very subtle. The glass bottle. This is Jen. Here's a more. Subscribe before you fall asleep. Hi there. My lovely, lovely sleepy squirrels. I hope that you are all well. In this evening's video, we are doing a double Lizzie unboxing. Yeah, I'm continuing with the doubles while I can. I think certain boxes may just become always a double unboxing. I think that would be nice. Make the videos nice and long. And just sometimes a touch more interesting because you've got like a little comparison as well as just the unboxing. Okay, but before we get into the unboxing, I'm just gonna spend a few minutes making some sleepy cardboard sounds. If you just want to see what's inside, feel free. Stamps are down below. Otherwise, enjoy. This is January Sparks, and this is February Sparks. You can probably tell by the art on the February one. Although I do like the fact that it's not like pink with hearts, Valentine's Day, but it is like a little nod still. So let's get into the January Sparks. 
Hello, 2024. I shall get things done in January 2024. Okay, it's not about the products, it's just like limited editions and stuff like that. Okay, what can we see? I recognize this. Not the brand or anything, but I can tell it's like hand sanitizer. This, I don't know the brand or what it is, but I think it's probably hair stuff. It looks like a little shampoo or conditioner bottle. This I don't recognize. This I do recognize and I already have it. And this I recognize the brand, but I'm not sure if it's the same product as the one I already have. I'll have a look. I think there's a little tea back there, a little panda tea. <laughs> okay, so let me put this to the side and let's see everything one by one. Okay, let's start with the hand sanitizer. Okay, Rolling Hills, um, designed in California, cruelty free and cleansing gel in mango. So I actually quite like these little bottles in my bag, um, ever since, you know, pandemic and all that kind of stuff. I do carry hand sanitizer, I think everybody kind of does now, don't they? But I just find it really difficult to handle the straight up alcohol smell of some of them just like brings me back to teenage years bad decisions in the countryside <laughs> nothing dangerous just you know yeah <laughs> but yeah this one is gonna be fine it just looks like one of the handy gels you know let me just try a tiny touch because I have all my rings on I don't want to get that on my ring my palms. Let's smell. Yeah, that's fine. That will do. And the kids are a lot more receptive to ones that smell like fruit. If we ever need it. I'm not like overly uh, cautious with this kind of thing, but just, you know, sometimes the kids will touch things when you're waiting for the bus. <laughs> like chewing gum under the seat door or something like that. Okay, so this I will get use out of for sure. I still have one in my bag, one of those little handy ones, so it won't get used right away. But so I was right in shampoo. <laughs> you can just tell by the packaging it's going to be like a hair product. Okay, so shake bar. Oh no, shake bar. <laughs> shake bar. Shake bar. Nourish and gloss shampoo for all hair types. So you probably already know if you like watch my videos regularly that I stay away from changing my hair routine up too much. But everybody else in the house doesn't care, so please just get used up. And I will have like um, a one wash every week or two weeks where I'm not like using fancy shampoo or anything. And I will use this kind of stuff. And of course, if any of my friends or family are interested in any of the products, I just let them have a little gander when they're in. Some go that way, but not many, I have to say. Let me just give it a smell anyway. It smells quite nice, kind of fruity and fruity and fresh. That's actually nice. Yeah, I think that one's gonna be enjoyed. I don't know what the actual like result will be for the hair. Nourish and gloss. I like the ones that are like for all hair types. That makes me think it's not gonna do anything bad. You know, it's not gonna like super weigh down the hair or be like super drying or super specific. Okay, what do we have here? This we have all seen before. Um, well, if you watch my videos, you've all seen before. DWTN Paris, downtown Paris. Uh, created in Paris, deuxième arrondissement, 12th arrondissement. I don't know what that is in, in English. So this 
is a little liquid blush. Now they say lips too. Yeah, cheek and lips. I never use this stuff on my lips, only on my cheeks. Does anybody use it for, for lips too? My mama loves this stuff for blush. Apply a dab of blush to the fingertip and gently massage the lips and or cheeks. Um, un extrait botanique de Maribam vulgar effet anti-lumière bleu. So something about, um, it's like against the blue light, like from, I guess from like computers and stuff like that, but yeah, I don't know how much that is interesting for just the lips and the cheeks. I would say it's more like a, would be interesting for like a face cream or something, you know, that would cover the full we just get a little, just a little touch there. Dum, 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 dum. There we go. And it is a nice, very subtle green blush. I can barely see it on camera. I can see it in person, but I um, maybe need a little touch more. you see? It's a natural colour. A blush. I like it. I wonder if this has different colours. No, I don't think so. I think they're all the same colour. So I will either get use out of this if I don't already have one. I think I probably already have one on the go. Um, or I'll send it to my mama. Although sending things to the UK is getting expensive not just for me, but for the people receiving it too. Um, for some reason, the customs declaration is not accepted. So I end up paying and then the person receiving the, the package ends up paying, so that's unfortunate. Okay. This one, Noon Chi. I see a little eye, so either it's something for the eyes or that's to do with the, the brand. It is an eye revive mask with hyaluronic acid. Of course it's got hyaluronic acid, everything does. <laughs> okay, here is the secret of a fresh and luminous look that should be applied once or twice a week. Um, put the mask in a thick layer on the eye contour area. By the way, guys, is the eye contour area above as well? Like, I think it is, but should I be putting this above, like on the, on the lid and above, like brow bone area? Leave on for four to five minutes and massage and wipe off the excess for an energized and revived look gonna like have something that's gonna tighten up the area or is it just moisturizing? Either way I think I will enjoy it. Hopefully it doesn't have some sort of crazy scent. Little dab. I do like um, this kind of thing. I have um, the payak pay, I don't know how it's um, it's got a P. It starts with P. has a Y and a T in it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and it's like a face, a moisturizing face uh, cream. But it's like a mask, like an overnight kind of thing. And I just put it on every night now. Okay, there is something there, but it might be my hand cream from earlier. Um, otherwise, it's got nothing. I think it's a, a fully scent free product which sounds right if it's for your eyes yeah i have like a um a moisturizing mask that's in the same way where you put a lot on you leave it and then you wipe off the excess or blend in the excess and i love it so much and i'm just using it as a night cream basically now it's really good okay let's do the little tea first um, by the way, if my voice is different in this video, I'm using different headphones. 
um, and I feel like the sound is different, but I'm not sure if it's just in my head or not, <laughs> like the way I'm hearing it, because I'm using like, instead of the in-ear buds, I'm using like the big chunky headphones. And a tea night cleanse. I just pop these aside for little extras in the eBay boxes because I just have a lot of tea already with um, the tea subscription boxes that I was unboxing for a long time. So I'll just pop this into that little box. Okay, so 20% off if you spend 30 euros. No, it's not 20%. 20 euros off if you spend 30, if anybody would like to use that. And the last product is something that I have and use, and I really like it. Rose Velvet Balancing Day and Night Face Fluid. That's the only thing I don't like about it, is the fact that they call it fluid. <laughs> that gives me the ick. It's all about balance. It's really heavy. Okay, hellobody.com Face fluid that helps to achieve a visible improvement in the appearance of combination skin thanks to balancing ingredients like a pre and probiotic complex. Rose water and rosehip oil. It smells lovely by the way. To use morning and or evening, apply to freshly cleansed face and neck. It has um, that kind of like lovely rose, um, powdery rose subtle. It's a glass bottle. It's got a pump on the top. There we go. And because this one is sealed, the pump has not been used. I'm just going to keep this for one of the eBay boxes. Someone will have a nice treat for their face. Just unfortunately called Okay, so that is the January box. How January is this? Like, I'm feeling like the cleanse of the tea, um, the face fluid, the reviving the, of the under eyes, fresh faced cheeks, you know, um, shampoo there, and the hand gel. I don't see the Januariness of it, but I think it's a nice box still. What do you guys think? I think this is um, quite an expensive product too. This one I don't know, but it seems like it could be expensive too. But yeah, I think it's nice. It's a nice box. My favourite is definitely this and this. Like this and this together, you're like, you're set. It's lovely. This I'll get you set off. This will just get used, but very easily forgotten probably. It smells pretty nice, but I feel like shampoos in a little pot like this are just like get thrown in a, you know, in a basket and then just get used up kind of thing. This I like, but you know, it's just that we get them so often. <laughs> I don't know why we get them so often. Either they're very popular or they're not, and that's why they're in these boxes. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I just, I like them, so I'm not complaining. Okay, so that is January's box. And don't forget, this is not the end. We still have one more full box to unbox. This is going to be a long one, guys. So, let me just pop this to the side and bring out February's box. And here we have it. look like flames coming out of the hearts, but I think they're more like flowers. I'm not sure. It's a cute pattern though. Hearts on fire. The little QR code. If anybody would like to have a look. Mm. 
Okay, a little spoilers on the back, but it's fine, you can already see them. <laughs> okay, what do I recognize? I recognize Sophia and Mabel, the makeup brand. Mascara there. I recognize Egyptian Magic. That's like the super intense moisturizing like cream balm stuff. This I don't recognize. It's hair stuff though, so it's normal. I don't recognize it. This I recognize. Lanish. Lovely. Okay, there should be something else. Yeah, there's something else under there, but I can't tell what it is. Is it like, um, uh, it looks the same as this. I don't know if it's like a double thing stuck together or not. Or is it just like a nail polish? I can't see it very well. Okay, so let me pop this to the side and let's have a look at everything one by one. Okay, the first thing I have is small and mighty. That's cute. Sophia and Mabel. Small and Mighty Extreme Volume Mascara. I already have this, actually. And I don't think I need another mascara right now. Um, I actually just kept two of them from last month's unboxings. The Tarte, um, Tartelette one, and the, um, Le Rouge Francais. So, I am going to keep this one nice and plasticed up there. <laughs> it is nice and sealed. Um, I'm going to keep this for EB boxes. So, I think it's a good mascara. I have good vibes with this brand. I like it. Anything I've used from this brand has been pretty nice and cute. Okay, what do we have here? I like the packaging. It's that kind of matte packaging that I like and it, the color, I don't know why, but this color is just really spot on. Um, it could have been just a bit drab or big, but it is actually a really nice color. <laughs> okay, so Wild Science Lab Smooth Move Bond Reconstruct Conditioner. That sounds very Leaf and seed hair care peptide complex and marshmallow extract. I've heard that a few times. Marshmallow extract it sounds weird. I don't know if it's like marshmallow as in like literally the marshmallows that we eat. Or if it's something like the plant or something. Okay, after shampooing, apply and massage into wet hair. Leave in for up to two minutes before rinsing. Up to two minutes, that's not long. For best results, shampoo first with smooth start shampoo, of course. <laughs> but you didn't give us both, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, I don't know if I will use this, to be honest, also. I just, like, it's rare that I'm gonna actually use a conditioner. Okay, it smells like hair care. Um, it's not the fruity side of hair care, it's more like the, almost like a male scent. So, I mean, it looks pretty fancy. Someone is gonna enjoy using this, just not me. <laughs> okay, the next one I'm very excited about because I have already had this and used it last drop because it was really nice. So Laneige Radiant Sea Cream Brighten Even Tone Moisturize. Laneige is a pretty fancy brand. I love their little pots. <laughs> this vitamin rich moisturizer targets dullness caused by visible dark spots and fine spots for so, I don't really get the, um, like, age spots or darker spots and stuff like that, but I am freckly. I am freckly, like, super freckly. I mean, it sounds like I was one of those people, you know, like, in skincare ads. 
kids they have like those people that are super freckly like but it's like almost just like it looks like it's not real like it's really like half of their skin is freckles and it's gorgeous i'm not like that i just have a lot of freckles that's all okay skin type for normal to dry skin apply evenly to face am and pm So I really enjoyed using this last time, so even if it is sealed, it's for me. <laughs> the little orange puffed. Yeah, I remember that. It feels super nice. <laughs> like, using a little fancy pot like this. There is something really nice about that. It does make a difference. I know it shouldn't. Like, it shouldn't, should it? But it does. Like you can smell the orange and all the citrus, but like sweet citrus, it's lovely. Okay, I am definitely going to enjoy using this. It's been a while. Okay, after we have the Egyptian Magic All Purpose Skin Cream, I've got one of these definitely used this before. Okay, for lips, face, and body with honey and olive oil. Hydrate and nourish. This is just like their little um, miniature size, of course. Okay, let me read the back for you guys. So, commission. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It's ancient Egyptian, anyway. Folklore recalls the existence of a miraculous skin cream, a secret of the great sages, mystics, magicians, and healers, used to maintain radiant, healthy, smooth, and glowing skin. So, directions. Rub a moderate amount in your palms until it takes the form of oil. Apply gently to your skin. Discontinue it. Rash hydration <laughs> Yeah, I remember this. Um, I already have a whole bunch of balms and creams and like multi-purpose balms and stuff like that. So I think I might keep this one. Yeah, it's nice and sealed in there. So I'm going to keep this one for EB boxes, but it's pretty cool. I like the packaging. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Um, I will probably just remove this little pot for sending just to have like you don't need the extra weight, but yeah, so that's pretty good. And the last item that I thought might have been <laughs> Sophia and Mabel is Sophia and Mabel, but it's not um, what I thought it was. I thought it was nail polish, but it seems to be for lips. Oh, tinted lip oil. Yes, please. Is sealed and a lip product, so you're probably thinking Jen won't want this, but it is a lip oil, and I am really loving lip oils. Um, it's like I don't like lip gloss, I like lip oil, but I'm starting to think maybe tinted lip oil could work because usually I will just use a lip pencil and then put oil on. So maybe I can graduate to tinted lip oils. <laughs> okay, so this is in Beach Please. As in Beach Please. Beach Please tinted lip oil. I like the look of the color. It's quite subtle. I like that. It smells not great. Doesn't smell of anything nice. <laughs> it just smells a little chemically, and I don't know if that's like the plastic or if it's the product that's giving that. 
probably both. Mm, feels a little thick. It's giving me lip gloss feels. We'll see. I don't know. It's maybe pretending to be a lip oil and it's actually a lip gloss. Or a mix of the two. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, well I'm going to add this to my arsenal and try it out and see. It's feeling thick. Mm. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so what do you guys think of our February? I love it. <laughs> so, a uh, Laneige, yes please, especially this cream, I love this cream. Um, this, I mean, it's a hair care product. It sounds pretty fancy, so why not? Um, this Egyptian Magic, I've had this a few times and I wouldn't say it's boring because it is like a good multi-purpose balm. And these two, I think that is absolutely gorgeous and fun. Um, maybe this is the whole like Valentine's aspect of the box, which I appreciate. So yeah, I super big points for these two. Okay, so what do you guys think? Did you prefer the January box or the February box? Let me bring everything. I'm gonna make my perfect box out of both of them. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's good. And the tea as well, I guess. Counts. Okay. So which one do you think was better? This one or this one? I like the February one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make my perfect five products. So we're gonna go with this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. These five here. Although, mm, I'm kind of thinking this would be great, but also I don't need a mascara at the moment and I will use that. So maybe this would be my perfect box for today, but I think that would be a lovely box, wouldn't it? I mean, these are all okay, but yeah, no, this would be lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so let me grab one of these items for the middle and we can do our blank. I think you know what I'm gonna choose already, don't you? We'll see. <laughs> yeah, of course, I use the little orange <laughs> Laneige cream. It's my favorite of all of the products today. Okay, so I hope that you enjoy this video, that you found it relaxing. You found it interesting to see what was in the January and February box. If you made it to this point in the video, I 
would like you to pop a little orange Just pop that in with your regular comment. Or if you are far too sleepy, you can just pop that little orange there by itself. I don't know what you mean. And if you're looking for any extra content from me, you could pop over to Patreon, where I'm now doing at least two videos per month. One lo-fi random video. So far it's been things like grocery haul, <laughs> um, random hauls on my living room floor. guys have really enjoyed them. And then of course the main suggested by the patrons, voted for by the patrons. And then depending on the month, there's usually like uh, reading the blurbs on the back of the next book club books, that sort of thing. So you can vote on them. This month we are about to start a Greek mythology retelling. I don't know which one won. I guess uh, patrons will already know by the time this video comes out, but the day I'm filming, it'll be tomorrow. And it's actually pretty close between the two of them. Usually it's pretty obvious which book is going to win, but it's been pretty close. So yeah, it's pretty fun over there. And they've been helping me choose my nails <laughs> as well, so that's pretty fun. Okay, so I hope that every single one of my lovely, lovely, lovely sleepy squirrels or well, wherever you are in the world, I hope that you can find your own little bubble of calm For example, if you are in British Columbia in Canada Like my lovely, lovely patron I hope you're well. Thank you for all of your lovely, lovely support. And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely evening. And I'll see you next time.